No love, no happiness, no greatness, no, to be thankful that you are here and to be able to be patient and carry people. Prophets carry people. And yet they still had that balance in their heart. They were still happy. There was a man that they talked about. He was supposed to be a good man. This is according to traditional knowledge. People were irritating him. And he got so tired of people. He's under sick of people. People are awful. I'm sick of them. So he searched for a place <laughs> in the mountains, a place so remote and high up in the mountain. And when he got in there, he said, now I'm going to be peaceful, I'm going to have peace. And all of a sudden, some man came by and looked up, and he saw this rock. And this was such a beautiful rock, it was right beside the cave that this person was in. And so he just started clapping, he tapping on stuff. Can you imagine that? Total peace. Like somebody knocking on your door in the middle of the night when everything is quiet. Hey, bam, bam. He said, oh, Allah, what is this? Is there no place that's going to be peaceful for me? <clears throat> the prophet said, peace be upon him, that this life is not for rest. This life is not for us to get so comfortable and be such that we become so complacent that we stop working. Because here's what happens. There is a difference. When you do not have the peace of Allah in you, you can't deal with nothing. Your anger is going to be like that. Your tolerance is going to be short. Short fuse. You're going to be frustrated. You're going to be envious. You're not going to have any forward. You're not going to have no strength to continue something. You won't be consistent. You won't be constant. You will not be patient because the disturbance in your heart will not allow it. You'll be living with the scorpions and the snakes. And that's all you'll see. Scorpions and snakes coming at you all the time. Everywhere, every way, shape, or form. But this is what your mind will be attracting. Because it's not thinking on your Lord. It's not going in the direction that's going to bring you the stability while you're in this life. There is a part of us as a treasure that's connected to everything else. There is a part in us that's divine, that's connected to divinity. Once we reach that, Everything else stabilizes. You cannot carry anybody. You cannot deal with anybody. You cannot forbear or be tolerant of anyone unless you are balanced. You can't fly unless you have two wings. The balance of the next life and this life in this life. That imbalance take you to hospitals. That imbalance take you to prisons. That imbalance take you to insane asylums. That, that, that imbalance take you to decadence. It takes you to uncertainty. It takes you to envy, jealousy, insecurity, and depression. Sadness. How the heck can you be a sad person and you God made, you're not man made, and you sad. You don't have the abundance. Allah said, you don't follow the prophet and believe in him, you will be cut off from future because he has the abundance. You follow him with your conduct, you're going to have the mental sustenance, physical, spiritual, financial, social, ethical, moral sustenance you need. You're going to be a real being, a powerful being, establishing strength and power in the land. Not some little weakling that shaitan can say, come here. You so and so, and you run. Turn you out every time. Make you a concubine. Make you his flunky. 
He's not about to establish you in strength and power in the land. Allah told him to bow down to your grandfather, your grandparents, Adam and Eve. He didn't do it. He does not have the capacity to lead human beings to divine presence. That's why all the angels and all the jinn was told to bow down to Adam. This story is still going on. 2009, 2010, 3000, whatever. From the time it started to the time it ended, it will go on until it's ended. And every time somebody is born, we have the opportunity to establish Allah Almighty's will in the land, on earth as it is in heaven. But yet, we allow something inferior to us to put shackles on our minds. We live a miserable life. I'm a grown man, I'm a grown woman. You are, but you're a punk. Satan got you going all kinds of ways, doing all kinds of things. You don't have no peace. You can't go where you want to go. You can't do what you want to do. Because you locked down in your mind. And then your mind attract that lockdown. So you got to be locked down. Your mind attract that sickness. So you have to be sick. Your mind attract that poverty. So you're going to be broke. And in poverty, your mind locked down with that envy, so you're going to be envious. You have to break those shackles. When Islam came, it broke the shackles off the minds of the people. Free your mind, your butt will follow. Oh, so that's in hind parts. Your rear end. Because this is going on YouTube. We don't understand who we are and whose we are. We keep lying to ourselves. If you tell somebody you're going to meet them somewhere, and every time you tell them you're going to meet you somewhere and you never show up, are you going to continue to believe that person? No. You're not going to trust their word. Well, we do that to ourselves. That's why we don't trust ourselves. Our minds don't take us seriously. I'm going to get you out. I'm going to get you out. Mind said, when are you going to get me out? Shaitan said, you all right. Be cool, chill. Ain't nothing happening nowhere. You where you need to be. Then the soul says, break loose. Submit to your Lord's will for you. Because the mind was created as a bright light. Allah says, I've never created anything more beautiful. Now the soul is not created. But he said, I've never created something more beautiful than the mind. But the mind cannot go up and reach its greatest potential unless it submits to that part of us that's connected to Allah Almighty, the soul. And as long as that gap between the mind and the soul is there, that is the furthest distance in the universe, not the earth to the furthest galaxy. So all the prophets came to close that gap between the mind and the heart. And those who are able to do that, they are dynamic. They do things you can't even imagine. They look at you and see your future. They see your past. They're smiling at you, talking, and saying, yeah, and you, then you talk and smack them and say, yeah, okay, right. And they take you through the changes and bring you back and tell you that they did that. How did they do that? Well, you have the same abilities. That's what they've been trying to tell you. So some people you have to show them because they are locked in their mind. You can't tell them nothing. Their cup is full. So they got to experience the decadence of shaitan. They got to experience the humiliation of life. Until so they say, oh my Lord, guide me. As soon as they say that, Allah sends a guide to them. Some simple person, some crazy person, it's crazy for their Lord. Five minutes freedom. Choo -choo. Take the chains off. They're free. Wow! What's that song? It only takes a many girl to fall in love. <laughs> song like a 